What's up guys, David Moss Jr. here. And in this video, I'm gonna give you five free biohacking tips that you can start right now to live a happier, healthier, and better life. So let's get to it. There's really a lot to cover when it comes to biohacking. So I'm gonna put a link to the videos where I go over biohacking a little more in depth right here in the description. You'll also see some cards popping up throughout this video that are regarding the topics that I go over. So check those out after this video is over. Number one, get outside. That's right, get outside. If you can, take your shirt off and get the sunlight on your skin. You know, sunlight is super important. I think we've kind of trained ourselves and taught ourselves to put sunblock on, to wear hats and sunglasses and as much clothes as possible to protect our skin from the sun. When in reality, we need the sun. The sun helps us in so many vital ways. The sunlight is one of the greatest sources of vitamin D for our body, which boosts and builds our immune system. It's one of the most important vitamins when it comes to our immune system. The sunlight helps our bodies set the circadian rhythm so that we can sleep at the end of the day. I would encourage you before 10 o'clock in the morning, every single day, as long as you can, get outside and get that morning sunlight on your skin, on your face, in your eyes. Don't wear sunglasses before 10 o'clock. And don't be afraid to look towards the sun. You don't have to look directly at it and hurt your eyes. And some people are way more sensitive and you'll build up, but just get outside and get sunlight on your skin. That's the first biohacking tip and it's free. Number two, get barefoot and put your feet on the ground. You know, I always loved being barefoot as a kid, but as I've gotten older, you know, you just kind of train yourself to wear shoes. You know, you gotta wear shoes when you go in restaurants, you gotta wear shoes when you go shopping, you gotta wear shoes when you go to work. So you wear shoes most of the day, but our bodies feed off of the earth. And I know that sounds weird, and I am a believer in God and Jesus Christ. I am also a believer that God created everything on this earth for us, and we need to be barefoot, and we need our feet to be walking on the earth. So much comes from this, and I would tell you, if you can practice getting barefoot, getting grounded and getting outside early in the morning. It will help to set your circadian rhythms, help you with sleep, help you with dealing with stress. And overall, it just starts to feel nice. Number three, and if you're not new to my channel, you know I'm a huge advocate for cold plunging. Get cold. Now you see behind me, these are my cold plunges, a couple of them. I have the Edge Theory Labs and the Polar Monkey. I also back here have an ice barrel. I love getting cold. My whole family loves getting cold. My friends are starting to get into getting cold. But the cool thing is, I know I told you these are five tips to do for free. First was getting sun, second was getting grounded, third is getting cold. You don't have to have a cold plunge to get cold. It makes it a little bit more convenient because you have the water set at a specific cold temperature at all times. So I do highly recommend a cold plunge. However, you can go into your shower and just crank that water as cold as possible. I know it sucks, that's the whole point. You want to get cold as often as possible. Every shower, you could start with it hot and that feels great, but end with it cold. Do 30 seconds of cold showers at the end of every shower, especially in the morning, and you'll feel the difference. You'll feel the benefits of getting cold. And the benefits of getting cold, there's so many benefits, but here's just a few. Number one, it wakes you up. When you turn that water cold, it is a shock and a flinch factor like you wouldn't believe, and it sucks. Like I don't know anybody who turns the water cold and is like, oh, this feels really, really good. No, it wakes you up, it gets things pumping, it activates that fight or flight mechanism in your body, which moves things around, it reduces inflammation, it activates that mental thought, that clarity, like your body uses your brain to say, okay, how do we get out of this situation? There's so many wonderful benefits and you need to check out some of my other videos on cold plunging to learn more about. But that is biohacking tip number three, get cold. Oh, and one more cool little tip on cold plunging, if you don't have a tub or you don't want to take a cold shower or you really want to just get into cold water you can find a cold pool right now it's winter time so you can find cold water pretty easily find a lake that's cold find the ocean that's cold or if you're traveling oh no let me fix this buddy <laughs> little buddy if you're traveling and there's a tub which most of the times hotels and resorts have tubs they also have free ice go to the tub turn the water as cold as possible fill the tub up go to the ice maker, fill up a few bags of ice, dump them in the tub. I've done this every single time I travel and there's a tub. So you can get cold for pretty much free. You can definitely get cold for free. Number four, get hot. Now, yes, getting into a sauna might cost money. Some of you have gym memberships and they have saunas. Spend 20 minutes in the sauna, do it three days a week. You'll feel the massive benefits. It activates heat shock proteins. It activates your cells basically crave the heat. They also somewhat crave the cold. So cold and hot contrast therapy is a real thing and it's a real beneficial thing. And if you want to biohack, you can absolutely experience the benefits of getting hot. Jumping into a sauna is the easiest way to get hot, but there's ways to get hot for free. If you live in a hot climate, get outside. 
put on some sweatshirts, go for a jog, get sweaty, basically activate sweat. If you, can, if you can activate sweat for just 20 minutes a day, and you don't have to do it every day, but if you can do it a minimum of three days a week, you're going to experience the biohacking benefits of getting hot. So number four, get hot. And the last free biohacking tip, number five, is get rid or eliminate as many blue lights as you possibly can. What are blue lights? Well, they're lights that are blue or white. So my phone screen, my TV screens, my computer screens, every screen and every light that I have control over changing all have a red tint to them. There's free ways to adjust the screens on your phones and most of your devices and most of your TVs and most of your computers where you can actually turn the warm up, which turns down the blue light. So blue lights are great between the hours of 10 and five. But once that sun starts to go down, you wanna eliminate the blue light as much as possible. And if you have a lot of blue lights around you, if you have the LED lights on cars, LED lights around your neighborhood, LED lights in your house, change the LED lights in your house around, get the halogen lights or get the lights that have a little bit of a red tint to them. There's a lot of great ones. Huga has a very good one. There's a lot of brands that sell replacement bulbs that are red or just have a few lights around your house that are red that you can turn those on at night. I know you're gonna seem crazy. People are gonna probably think you're the weird neighbor because at night your house has a red tint to it. Don't worry about how they feel. Experience the biohacking benefits of red light. You're gonna sleep better. You're gonna wake up with more energy and you're gonna feel better overall. So the fifth tip is find red lights. And a lot of places are now experimenting and making red light therapy more accessible. You can buy red light therapy devices for your house. You don't need massive full body panels. I do have some of that because I really do enjoy the benefits of red light therapy. Red light therapy is awesome. There's a ton of benefits behind it. And just so you know, if you are interested in a cold plunge, a sauna, a red light, I'm going to put the links to what I use down below. I love them. So feel free to click those links and get them for yourself. But you don't have to buy them to experience the benefits of cold heat or red lights and eliminating the blue lights. Just eliminate the blue lights everywhere you can. Another cool way to do this is you can get some of those Himalayan salt rock lamps and turn those on around your house, but for free, eliminate the blue lights from your phone. Just turn the lights off at your house at night and you will sleep better and you'll experience those benefits. All right, so there you have it, my friends. That's the five biohacking tips that I bet you didn't know that are free. The first one, get morning sunlight. That's what I'm gonna do right now. You wanna spend 10 to 15 minutes getting morning sunlight every day if you can. Some days you can't, but try to do it as much as possible. Number two, get barefoot and get grounded. You can do this at the same time as your morning sun. That's what I'm doing right now. Number three, get cold. You wanna get cold after every shower, that's free. Number four, get hot. You can actually, contrast therapy, you can actually crank your, your shower up and get hot water to activate the heat as well, but you really wanna activate the sweat. And number five, eliminate the blue lights, especially after 5 p.m. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for the support. Have a great day, everybody. Check the links out below, subscribe and like, and God bless. See you guys on the next one.